Just a tad bit up. Okay, boss. What is the boss? Oh, it's a giant rhinoceros. Okay. Well, here we are again. Look at that beautiful little tiger tank. Now, in tank combat, as we went over in the last one, the first thing to do is to get hull down, where a lot of the ground is going to basically absorb most of what the enemy is shooting at you, and allowing me to shoot at them with relative impunity. Now, I think there's 10 enemies on this map and i've upgraded my main gun to fire three tank shells at once it's kind of ridiculous in fact i'm fairly certain it's against the geneva conventions but in this case they're more like the geneva suggestions because switzerland now thinks in this game uh oh that guy bum rushed us got a couple hits off this position isn't nearly as good as our last one so let's see if we can't get a better one. Oh, all right the enemy is very good at shooting me here we need to adjust our angle there we go that actually right here might allow us to get three shots off at once if we needed to because obviously we won hello is anyone out there? oh there we go it's interesting how the enemy has like giant tanks and little ones that fire like that one looked like it was firing like a machine gun of smaller cannon rounds oh this guy's new uh, he's very dead though. I was actually looking forward to seeing what he could do. But at the same time, my survival instincts were like, hey, don't let him shoot you. You should kill him first. And uh, that's ultimately what we did. But now we have a boss. Oh my God. That kind of looks like a mouse tank in a way. I wonder if we could increase our reload rate. All right, here he is. Oh my gosh. All right, as long as he doesn't have a flamethrower. Look at that. It, the bosses are dumb. The, some of the dumbest tanks I've ever encountered are in this game. Now, in the first one, we started out with the Love Leviathan 1.0. Then we went up to Coulter M5, which I don't know why his name's Coulter, because that doesn't sound very German. And this guy is clearly a German. Now we have the T110, but we've upgraded our damage on this guy so much. And just look at what's available. Like, there's Godzilla tank out there. He costs a thousand gem. But I think what we want to do is we want to upgrade to this guy. So the damage on him is 806, which is better than our previous tiger tank. And he has a little bit more health as well. So let's try him out in action here. Ooh, let's take a spin. Though. One free spin. I'm really hoping for the 5,000 gold right here. That would be pretty... 1,500, I guess. I guess that's not bad. We can upgrade him to level 10 which gives us a little bit more damage. So now moving on to level 13, we're in the desert. Ooh, I like this guy's, I like his profile. Ooh, okay. Our gun fires in a straight shot as opposed to what it used to do, which was like fire a three round burst in a spread, almost like a shotgun. This is a significant upgrade for a tank because so long as I hit the enemy target with one, the rest of them will follow and we just decimate these guys. Now, that last tank, it looked like it had some, like, biohazardous green fluid type piping on it. So, needless to say, upgrading our tank was definitely the play. I'm trying to remember. So, real quick, what was the firing profile of this first guy? Because when you look at the Leviathan, even though he has one, two, three, four, five, six different gun barrels, he only shoots out of the one. Oh, yeah, and he only fires a single shell. So he's definitely, like, he can do okay. And his cannon does a significant amount of damage. But I think he's outclassed. Oh, there we go. That guy fired, like, the biohazard stuff on me. I think it, like, if you drive over it, it'll still do damage. So we have vehicles doing area of effect now. The game and the battlefield has changed. Fire! Oh, there he is again. I'm kind of... Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, we have to move. Uh-oh, we might not make it through this level. No, we will, but barely. We've seen all three of these guys, and this one, well, I mean, he lives up to the billing as the best. And we're going to upgrade him even more as we get to level 15. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy, he shreds. Two bursts is all it takes. I think the enemy needs to have an update to their AI where they won't just bum rush your position because clearly I've defended myself extremely well. Being in a hull down position as a tank, as we went over in the last video, is, well, quite frankly, tactfully superior. And when you have a, a weapon like this, <laughs> it's incredible. You know, I just realized that our tank has a shovel and a battle ax. And I've heard rumors that in this game, there are boss tanks. We're gonna try something a little bit different. We are just gonna bum rush the enemy because normally we do not do that. Playing this with a mouse sucks. <laughs> That's actually a big part of why I normally don't rush. Oh, just shellacked them. We take a lot more damage, but like, uh-oh. Uh, please don't kill me. Get out of the acid pit. We're in an industrial wasteland. 
Oh, a boss. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's like a KV6. KV6 is in like the German or the German. What? There was a Russian, like it was like a meme before memes existed. Oh my god, this thing's huge. It's got like a Gustav gun. We might not survive this. Oh, okay. He fires like a nuclear bomb, but they're once again very very dumb. Okay, so we fought a boss tank. And we can upgrade our tank once more. And I think once we reach level 20, we're on level 17, we might encounter an even bigger boss. All right, rush him. Rush him. Das vidanya tovarish. Moscow is behind us. Even though I'm like driving what clearly looks like an American tank. In some weird like futuristic city. Oh my God, that guy's got a freaking battering ram. What is, what is this game? You know, like, I think what it is is like the artist was like, you know what? I'm gonna eat seven pounds of raw sugar and six Red Bulls and start drawing tanks. And this is what he came up with. I mean, it's pretty cool, but like, it's wild. Level 17, done. Now we're in some kind of weird jungle. Look at that, there's a little red parrot right above me. Hey, buddy. Hello there. Will you scout out the enemy formation, the enemy positions? Look at that. This is the best spot. My shells go directly over that little ridge. We're as hull down as hull down can get right now. They decided to bum rush me with two tanks. That's okay. I am drastically overpowered from upgrading my tank so much. I feel like the Terminator. I wonder just like if they could have made the AI a little bit better. Can we upgrade? Well, I guess we can twice. My damage is almost a thousand. So find the magic spot, adjust the tank shell. Make sure the parrot is, like, basically he's my take commander as far as I'm concerned. Do you think we can do this without getting hit once? It's very possible. We're sitting at 100% health right now still. <laughs> this tank might be overpowered when you use actual tank tactics. No! Oh, we took damage. That's really, really unfortunate. This guy's killing my buzz, man. And I can't help but wonder what would happen if we actually like played mobile controls as opposed to just using my mouse and having to go left and right. Cause this is what happens when you do have to do that. You can still bum rush him it looks like. Hello there, friend. I gotta get off that stuff. Okay, we gotta start playing smart. All right, find the sweet spot. No, just a tad bit up. Okay, boss. What is the boss? Oh, it's a giant rhinoceros. Okay, the level 20 had to have an epic boss. We knew this going into it, but even still, oh my God. Of course I decided to bum rush him. You can't hurt me. Oh, his big cannons shoot over me. We got this. <laughs> his little ones do not. They were shoot me right in the face. Oh yes, oh yes, look at that. I wish we had an attack where we could use the hatchet and we just slash an enemy tank. That would be a little bit ridiculous. So what happens after level 20? We just fought an epic boss. Are we gonna encounter any new type of terrain? Any new worlds or areas of this map? I'm not entirely sure how good the bulldozer tank is supposed to be, but he seems to be doggy. And yes, dogs are good, but doggy doo-doo is not. And that's how the enemy is fighting right now. Doggy freaking doo doo. We're basically invincible as far as I'm concerned. What this game needs is not just a primary weapon, but also some secondary abilities as well, like rocket barrages, calling in airstrikes, paratrooping allies would be sweet. That would make me so happy. Let's see. This guy, Mr. Crabsaw, costs 50. He already has damage of a thousand. You know what? Let's give it a go. So how much damage can we get this thing up to? 1,150. Now, I don't know what kind of gun he's gonna be able to fire. So let's find out. Oh, <laughs> what a weird gun. I, I hit my ram and I fire what looks like, oh my gosh, this, okay, that thing's powerful. Beep, beep. Oh gosh, okay, I do not like this because you have to stay further away, I think. Okay, this is the strangest gun I've ever seen. It's very powerful, yes, but it's got a slower rate of fire, and it's got a, uh, it's more skilled, I, I think. You have to account for the trajectory, account for the arc of the shell, and it's not really a shell, it's a, it's a, like a robotic hand. Like this is like Dr. Robotnik style robot hand. What are you doing there, bulldozer boy? Wait a minute, did the AI just, Derp out. 
They're just sitting there like, hey, can you can you kill us real quick? And I mean, we did. All right. So it's a matter of how much. Ooh, that guy looks really cool. Yeah, we're not going to be able to afford these guys without investing serious money into premium. Almost level 10. He's doing, oh my gosh, almost 1.5 times the damage as our last tank did. All right. We got to get up here. Well, like, I have a welding mask. All right. Oh my, yeah, I'm one tapping them. I am one tapping these tanks. Oh, except for that guy. He took two shots. But my stronger health is definitely helping. How are we doing? Excellent. Even though I kind of hate this tank because of how silly it is. Like, I wish I had a grappling hook and I could grab enemy tanks and pull them in and absorb them. And then I would get bigger. But that would be like a totally different game entirely. It wouldn't make any sense. But when you look at like an engineering tank recovery vehicle, which I think is what this is. Yeah. People took tank chassis and put giant cranes on them. And they're like, yeah, when tanks are disabled, you're going to go out and get them. And they're like, oh, OK, we'll do that. Level 10. Now we're almost to wave 25, or I guess technically level 25. And I'm hoping we see a boss then, because I do love me a good boss battle. Yeah, I don't like this tank at all. I don't like its firing arc. I like a, uh, a direct shot as opposed to like, I feel like I'm more of an artillery piece, but I don't look like artillery. I shouldn't have been putting all my gold into this guy. Okay, whoa, we got a boss at level 24. What? That is a massive howitzer artillery gun. All right, the battles of the artillery guns, but at least yours looks like it. Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh, he just crushed me. All right, and I'm, I'm hitting him with my ram too. I think we can endure maybe one more hit. Whoo, that was close. That was freaking close. Well, we gotta go to level 25. I'm fairly, there's gotta be mini bosses. Gentlemen, ooh, we've got, this one looks like you're in the middle of a forest, like in the middle of the heartland of America. And you're like, wow, look at those beautiful stars. And then the aliens show up. That's what this background reminds me of. I'm not saying I've seen aliens or even UFOs, but if I had, it was definitely in a place like this. You know what I mean, right? Right? I think we need more enemy types. What about infantry? Would infantry be kind of cool? Oh, shoot. It's not even a contest at this point. Double tapping the big boys. No boss. That is definitely unfortunate. Yeah, we need like air vehicles and airstrikes, man. Because I'm, I'm just, I'm too good. I'm like, I'm Anakin Skywalker going into the Jedi Temple right now. And then all the younglings are like, hey, we're, let's fight. You know, you're like, bro. You don't want none of this. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? Yeah, that tank might be the dumbest one because he's got this battering ram, but he never charges you. Here we go. I want to try using my ram on them. <laughs> no boss either. Okay. I guess the one benefit to this thing is, is it seems to have like, see how I killed two tanks with one shot? It has area of effect. And so right now what I'm going to do is start saving up all of my money so that we can get this guy, the Sturmaus. Oh, boss at level 28. Uh, what the heck was that? There's like these obnoxious advertisements that were blocking this thing. This is like a mech the size of like, oh, uh, that's a dragon. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> of course, he's going to hurt me. That's his job. I, he can't hurt me because it, it's these bosses look amazing, but they're so dumb. I just can't get over it. It's hilarious. We're 40 gems away. That's unfortunately a lot of advertisements. <laughs> so if you guys do want to see more tank combat, we'll pull the trigger on that like button and let me know. And I'll see you next time where hopefully we'll encounter even more awesome tank bosses and defeat them with ease.